So you, you wrote an open letter, and there's been, uh, why did you do that? Why did I do that? Because I saved someone's life in my garage on December 31st, and it was a, an overdose, and what I saw was not an overdose. What I saw was a, a dead 17-year-old boy. And I said, oh my gosh, we have a problem. Kids are dying. And I started asking other kids. And it was happening to all of them. And I was walking around in a, as I said to someone last night, it was like I was in the twilight zone, like living somewhere else. Because how could I be walking around Canada, talking to these kids, watching these kids, and finding out that these kids were dying being saved by paramedics or being saved by each other. And then Chloe passed away and then All Saints sent out this generic letter, sorry, you know, about a death of one of our students unexpectedly. And it's like nothing about drugs. And I was like, what's going on? Like how can this kid have died from doing these counterfeit perks and still the school's not even telling all the other parents and that these kids this kid just died from something that they all, a lot, many of them have. And it's led up for two years of me chasing my daughter and realizing that I'm farther away today that, of keeping my daughter alive than two years ago when I started. So when Paige was 14, she started with the pot. And, and uh, that's a, a long story of whether pot should become legalized, but we won't worry about that. But she started with pot and I was freaking out and then it progressed into Molly and Zan Xanax and all sorts of stuff. Um, and with Paige and all of her friends, it seems that that is the path they go on. And the reason I'm doing all this is not because of everything that happened for the two years leading up till now. It's because of what's happened since December 31st because I've lived the life, the nightmare of being the parent of an addict. And there is hundreds and thousands, well, there's thousands of, I've, if you go by the emails I've got, I can't even fathom how many there are, right? But starting when this new drug came on the market here, in particularly in Canada, and, it's, and started killing the kids, it's a whole different thing. We as parents of these kids have to at least start talking because the kids keep us apart. It's, it's hard to explain to people that are not in our situation, but these kids, when they are addicted to drugs, are the most manipulative, evil, lying, I guess human beings that you'll ever want to meet. Okay? They do everything to us families. We, as parents, have tried everything. Like there's nothing. These kids, you're just trying in the end, you're just trying to, it gets down to so many of us parents that in the end, all we're trying to do is keep our kids alive.